Perfect. Yeah, beautiful. Awesome. Today I'm just going to show you some of our new products. The old Reedy's Running, the Reedy's Running Rig series. And they're available from 4.0 to 9.0. And the cool thing about these rigs is they're all ready to go. They're pre-tied. Um, they've done exactly how the professional fishermen out in the bay and Port Phillip Bay catch snapper. They're rigged like this. There's a few reasons why everything's done like this is on the bottom hook is uh, got a uni knot and the reason we're using uni knot on the bottom hook is so when you put your pilchard through it doesn't destroy the pilchard because pil pilchards are notoriously they're a soft bait and they can break really easy and we've got a snelled knot on the second knot and we're going to run through and we're going to rig one of these pre-tied rigs up onto our rod because we're going fishing tomorrow and hopefully we can catch a snapper. I think I've, I've had this on for two trips. Now I'm going to change the knot on this swivel, pull off about a metre, two metres of line and get some fresh line onto the, the new knots so we don't lose a fish. Especially this time of year when the big ones are lurking. Um, Pretty simple stuff, but if you're new to fishing, you won't know this type of thing. So you get your 5.0 rig. It's got a sealable, resealable bag, so they're waterproof. And then you undo it, take it out. And there's generally about um, a metre and a half of leader, because some people like longer leaders. For snapper, you can also use these rigs for mulloway and, and various things, various other fish. Um, for snapper, um, I like to keep it about a metre, just a little bit over a metre, or probably about a metre to be truthful. And when I pull it out of the packet, the first thing I want to do is I want to pull it tight and tension down the knot. And it just, that just pulls, snugs the knots down because they sit in the packet for a while and, they, and they, it's, it's a chance they can loosen up. So when you pull down the rig, it'll tighten up the knots. Right, so. And I'll cut the line, there's about two metres of line here, and I'll cut it down to about a metre. Boom, like that. In Port Phillip Bay, I like using a size one sinker. When I'm lazy, I don't use any sinkers, but I like to have a sinker, a lead. I snelled metre line, and I just simply put that on, which is common sense. But if you don't know this stuff, you will probably not know how to do it. Line on, just like that. Really simple. And now we've got that on, we're going to put our swivel on. We're going to do a uni knot, put it through the swivel like so, pull it around and down, and you do a loop. You've got a loop there and the tag in there. Just pull the loop around like so. So you've got a figure eight, and all you do is twist around this second loop. And you generally want to do that about seven times. Yeah, it really depends how thick your leader is or how thick your line is to prevent the line from slipping. So if it's thin leader, do more like 11 twists. If it's thinner, if it's thicker, you can do less like seven, seven twists. So you get something like that. Snug the knot, pull the knot like so. And you want to put some moisture on it so it doesn't get line burn and then pull the main the main leader and that knot will go tight that won't fail that can't slip and that's your rig now we just got to connect it to the main line and you just put it through and we're gonna so this line's 14 pound main line for, so i do a, a big loop and i want to do this in this uni i want to do this uni knot um a lot more wraps to prevent it slipping. So I go through one, two, and you, most people learn the hard way when you don't do enough twists um, and you hook onto a big fish. You've got a tight drag, and your knot slips. That will not slip. Trim off the tags. Normally I have nail clippers for this, but we're gonna have to use this. There, boom. And that is ready to go to catch some nice Port Phillip Bay snapper. That 
That's how it's done. And I'll tell you right now, my favourite bait is pilchard. By sil silver whiting, I really, I, I'm quite liking this year because, I, I don't know, yeah, previous years the flatheads never used to touch full, full baits, but this year they're just going nuts. So uh, yeah, look out for the reedy snelled rigs in your tackle store. wouldn't start this is a kill switch yeah, I know what it is. and that's just stop the boat yeah right when it's up like that you can't go yeah so when you put it in and you push but we were just at the ramp trying to work it out like a, parent, like a parent like a bunch of idiots weren't we we were no, just, just tell them hang up <laughs> so anyway. the, idiot, the idiot was to clean the boat the cl idiot <laughs> clean, clean the boat and knock the bloody kill switch Jim <laughs> <laughs> I want you to move these rods. He's going to the end. Yeah. He's crossed all these lines. Don't worry about it, just fucking get the fish in. Just concentrate on the camera. I'll get the fish in. This is a big fish. <laughs> it's a you snapper. Just watch the other rods just in case. Yeah. Mm. Going so hard in shallow. It's nearly spent. Because I just want to try and get a bit. Relax, relax. It's not even that big. And it's good enough. You ready? No, 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 no. I've done it all the time by myself, Jeff. No, no. Right, I. Alright. Get in. Get in. Oh, yeah. Slap his voice. You! Give me a five. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sick of these things. Taking all me pillies. Somebody, don't leave me this body. Nobody knows